Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're cutting this card from the Close to My Heart Cricut Artiste cartridge located on page 52 of the handbook. We're cutting this at five and a half. I've gone ahead and cut my card, and now I need to score it on the lines. The lines are very small, so you may see my head in a minute as I try to find them because they're teeny tiny, which actually is nice, makes for a nice card. So the thing to remember is when you go to fold this, whatever pattern you want to show on the outside of the card needs to be folded to the inside. See, so I want the white to show, so I fold it to the inside, and then I'm gonna go ahead and peel this section back. So that's kind of counterintuitive, but it works. So there you go. Now the matching shape is on the Art Philosophy cartridge, Close to My Heart cartridge, page 67. I cut those shapes, the black one, um, at three and a quarter and the white one at two and three quarters. The set size that matches exactly is two and three quarters. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer those. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuck on the card. So I have a little trick for that. And all I do is I hold it up to the existing piece as best as I can. Fiddle, 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 now it goes. And then I very carefully and firmly hold it down and go ahead and run my adhesive on it. And then in a second, I just fold back that top section and stick it down. And it comes out pretty, pretty good. So there you go. Next, I'm gonna stamp my blue layer and I'm using the Close to My Heart Perfect Fit um, frames, which match um, pieces from the Art Philosophy cartridge. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this blue section which is also cut at two and three quarters. I'm just using some black ink, and this is a matching um, stamp that goes on this, and it should fit perfectly, so you'll see. I like to tap on there rather than do it the other way because then I can see what I'm doing. Oops, I think I got a little ink on the corner, so I'm gonna get a handy wipe and wipe that off just in case I start getting that on the project. Does that ever happen to you guys? Because I'm the queen of getting <clears throat> ink on the project where I didn't want it. So <laughs> this is my new trick. Joy's uh, new trick. Go ahead, Joy's new rule. You always have handy wipes nearby. So I went ahead and wiped that off. No big deal. Um, you'll notice I have that foam backing and that helps to make a better stamped image um, when you use that. And that comes with all the Close to My Heart stamps. So that's kind of nice. It comes right in the envelope so you don't have to keep hunting around for it. It comes with every stamp set. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that down. <laughs> And, oh, I press hard. <laughs> I want to make sure to do it right the first time. And then I always use my tweezers to lift it off because I'm afraid I'm going to smear it. But I never do, so I don't know what's up with that. But those are my favorite tweezers, Tweezer Bees from Michaels. I think I told you guys about those before, but I love those. Probably have like four pairs in case I misplace one. And so that fits on there exactly. And next, for the circular inset, I'm going to use the stamp set that came with Art Philosophy. So this stamp set was included when you purchased the Close to My Heart Art Philosophy cartridge. So no hunting around for that. And I went, ahead, I went ahead and cut a circle out from Art Philosophy. It's on page 21 and I cut it at one and three quarters. If you had a punch, you could punch it too. Also, if you had the one and three quarter punch, no big deal. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Twilight ink and stamp on this um, circle. I like to pat the, well, first I'm patting the stamp on my forearm because that's a good way to season a brand new stamp. I saw that at convention and I thought it was really funny, but it works and it's pretty fast. So I liked it. So I thought I'd show you guys because I thought it was, well, it's just kind of funny. Anyway, um, I've gone ahead and tapped the stamp and now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this circle. Um, forgive my head in the way. It's very hard to stamp with the camera above and not get your head in the way, so sorry. Now, I should have used the foam backing and I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> so, this video, good lord. Because then I decided, I look at this, I'm like, I'm not sure I like the blue on the blue. So I think I'm gonna switch that out and do black. So I get some black ink, turn the thing over, because there's always two sides to an image, so no need to cut out another one if you can try the other side. So I'm gonna do black. And um, in the end, I think I like the black better. I don't know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments if you want to. <laughs> if you're so inclined. So let's go ahead and stamp that black. And it's, I don't know, I just think it looks better. You'll see in a second. Or you probably saw at the beginning of the video, so oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this time I use the tweezers. 
And so let's hold that out so everybody can see it. Yeah, I'm thinking that looks better because it kind of matches the black outline. Okay, so there you go. Do is to stick these pieces down. So I'm just going to get my ATG gun and run that over the blue section. And I only run it over half because you'll see in a second when you open and close that card, you really only want it on the right hand half of the of the image. You don't want to stick the whole thing flat or it's not going to swing open nicely. So remember, just do half. We'll see in a second. Okay. And so and then I just use some pop dots for that center circle because it makes it easy. And the reason I didn't stick that onto the blue piece first was because I knew I was going to use pop dots. And then it's really hard to adhere something that has pop dots on it. It's hard to get the tape on it and it sticks and it's a big pain in the neck. So didn't want that to happen. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please head out to my blog, obsessedwithscrapbooking.com. I have weekly Cricut cartridge giveaways and more. And I also have a chart on making these swing cards and all kinds of good stuff. I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks again for watching.